What's up guys, in this video I'll show you how to color match your compositions like a pro. Let's go! go. Okay, as always, if you would like the raw files, just send me a DM and I'll provide them for you for practice use only. Alright. Okay, we are going to jump straight into the coloring part. So everything is cropped out. I've already done the dodge and burn, frequency separation. Yeah, so I'll just unhide the layers. Most of which are curves by the I use curves a lot, so I'll just unhead the curves. Yeah, then we'll just create a new adjustments layer. So click on the adjustments icon, hue saturation, clip it. We're editing the sky by the ensure it's clipped to the sky layer. Then we are going to increase the saturation. Okay, switch from master to science. I want to edit the blue areas or rather science just slightly. Okay, and that's it for the sky. Next, we're going to edit the mall. I had done a bit of cloning to add some flow at the bottom I needed that space so anyway I'll unhide the other layers so that's curves you'll see a lot of curves I'll unhide all of them so these two layers were two are for sharpening and adding a bit of details and then click on the curves layer then Add a hue saturation adjustments layer. Ensure it's clipped to the mall layer, then play around with the saturation. Okay, as you can see, the window areas are a little bit too blue. So I'll add a new hue saturation layer then. With the color picker selected, ensure you're editing the blues. So I'll play around with the hue, then saturation all the way to zero, then play around with the black and whites. To me, that looks good. Also, the clock area, I think we can edit that as well. So it's science, play around with the hue. Also take note of other areas that might be affected. Yeah, so the mall layer to me it looks good. So we'll jump straight to the next layer. That's the shadow layer. Already worked on it. yeah so that's it for the mall so i'll go ahead and unhide the layer that's the shadow layer basically on all the layers in this video i've already done the dodging and burning frequency separation and also the there's also some detailing layers that's already worked on I wanted us to focus on coloring only so i'll create a new hue and saturation adjustments layer ensure it's clipped then play around with the saturation also if you'd like to do some quality control just for that and to ensure it's 
as uniform as possible i'll show you a quick tip so what you do you will just click on the adjustments icon then select solid color we go ahead and pick a gray a gray shade and sh uh, around that area and show it's gray then change its blending mode from normal to luminosity yeah i won't clip it to anything so i think we, we'll just go ahead and unhide the lady layer the whole group the bag as well yeah so this new solid layer affects all the underlying layers so if you increase the hue on the guy you can see it reveals the intensity so i'll try my best and match the saturation on the guy to that of the background yeah i think that looks good so we'll go ahead and delete the solid color yeah and that's it for the guy we can jump into the next layer So the lady, we'll go ahead and unhide the lady. So I'll unhide all the other layers. Then click on the adjustments icon, create a hue okay not hue solid color ensure it's a gray shade blending mode from normal to multiply ah luminosity sorry as you can see it's not so far off but we can still do a little bit of adjustment so i'll add a hue layer clip it to the lady then play around with the saturation So I'll delete the solid color layer. Also the wheels, since the background I cropped out the lady from, it had a, a, a pink ground so there's a bit of reflection on the wheels. So I'll create a new hue and saturation layer, clip it to the lady, saturation all the way down, then ensure white is the foreground color opacity is a hundred percent then the layer mask is selected and inverted okay okay white is the foreground color then just brush over the areas you want to remove the saturation yeah and that looks good <coughs> uh, i forgot to unhide the reflection layers yeah guys always pay attention to the surfaces on which the compositions are placed on so on this it's reflective so yeah we'll go ahead and add unhide the bug layer there's a curves, I'll unhide it, already worked on. So we'll just color grade it, add a new solid color. Remember, it's a shade of gray. Click OK, then blending mode from normal to luminosity. I'll create a new hue and saturation layer. 
uh, for those who might be wondering, uh, it's not affecting the new solid layer doesn't affect the lady in the cut because the lady layer is above the bug layer. That's why. So after editing the saturation, you can un you can delete. Yeah. Actually guys, that's it for the color grading. We've done it on all the layers. At this point it looks good, but we can always go ahead and do some tweaking final touches. So what we'll do, we'll create an overall effect on all the layers. So Control Shift Alt E. Control Shift Alt E to take a snapshot, then convert it to smart filters. This enables you to make changes. Then go to filter, camera, raw filter. So whatever we'll do on this layer affects all the layers we have taken a snapshot of. But remember, the, we had already done adjustments on all the layers, so they are all good. This just to make just some final touches, nothing major. So anything we'll do, it's going to be very minimal. So we'll go to the basic color correction. Um, for this project, I wanted some. The, I wanted a warm, a warm look. So opposite of blue is yellow so we'll go i'll slide it over to the yellow side just slightly yeah that looks good so for the clarity and the texture around three works perfectly fine also the hairs saturation and vibrance just add it slightly yeah i think that looks good so we'll just go ahead and yeah, that looks good. We'll just go ahead and add a new detailing. So increase sharpness a little bit around 0.3, then noise, noise reduction. Then click OK. So that's that's the that's the before that's the after <sighs> yeah okay now look guys i can't emphasize this enough but what we've done in this video that's the color grading that's color matching to me it's the most important technique when it comes to creating compositions yeah so if, if your final project doesn't have that uniform look, then the whole design process, the whole time and work you'll have put into your project will have gone into waste. Cause that's the whole purpose of compositions, having a uniform look. And one of the steps of attaining this is color grading. So after compiling all your assets, always ensure you give the layers the same properties to get that that uniform look see it's it's only taken us 10 minutes 10 minutes to do the whole color grading on all the layers and including the final overall layer 10 minutes more or less so it's not taking it doesn't take much time but it has a huge impact on the final look so it's not a technique to be ignored so I really hope you've learned something new for beginners or maybe for those who, who haven't been doing the color grading.
I hope you lose the technique in your projects, the ones you are working on. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. I'll keep teaching you more techniques and keep practicing, guys. Until then, peace.